All right, guys, this is Van from Hunk and Junk Model Garage. Uh, this video is to show what I'm doing for um, the rat rod build coming up in a couple of days. And uh, right now, at the first of it, I, I want to introduce my garage pig since Heath did his. And uh, then I'll pause it and we'll go down to the garage and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So uh, this right here is, this is Bubba. Uh, he's a bigger pig than what he's got right now Bubba weighs 20 pounds uh, he's stubborn and meaner and crap anyways but that I guess that goes along with a pig uh, you gonna say something Bubba huh there you go he's normally not this talkative so <laughs> but I'd said something to my wife about uh, wanting a uh, another pot belly pig and she got me this when we went to the flea market so this is Bubba. You want to tell him hi again? There you go. All right, guys. I'll see you at the garage. Okay, guys. I'm back. Um, I'm down here in the garage now, and this is basically uh, my build for the rat rod uh, group build. Um, what I'm, what I've got here is just a bunch of parts out of my parts, uh, my junkyard. And uh, I bought, uh, I think it was six cabs like this right here at uh, the Middle Tennessee show. Uh, got them for a dollar each. And I bought them just for this occasion to where I can build just a, just a scrap rat rod. Uh, and uh, um, that way I can, you know, just build something that's different and nothing that's already been done before. <clears throat> but... Uh, that's basically the way the truck's going to look right here. Um, I'm gonna, I've already got my frame design drawn out, and I'm going to uh, make it from scratch. Um, I'm going to use one of these whiskey barrels here. Uh, these are the ones that uh, comes with the uh, the beer wagon. Um, I'm going to use one for uh, the fuel tank in the back. I'm going to set it up like it would be setting, you know, for a yeah uh, uh to use on a steel or whatever but i'm gonna stand it on its end and uh the same thing is going to be used on a, a little special project that's going along with this um that i'm gonna build uh for it uh to complete this build and it's going to be a little secret right now because i'm not going to uh, let it out i'm just going to let it be a surprise but uh, I've got uh, the narrowed rear end here from the uh, the Moon Eyes Funny Car, um, and these are going to be the front tires and wheels, uh, set of chrome steelies. Um, I'm putting a Mercury uh, a 49 Mercury dash in it, and. Uh, and then here's the the seat out of uh, it's for a Mercury, but I'm not really sure uh, or a custom uh, Mercury. Um, not really sure which kit this come out of, but uh, I I don't know if I'll use this one or not because uh, uh, I really don't like the console in there. But uh, I may end up just making a set of bomber seats for it and. Uh, <clears throat> Of course, I've had to go through and pick out more parts and everything. Use the the Mercury grill. Uh, this one right here, I'd love to have the other one that's just got the blades on it. Um, if I can find one of them, that'd be great. And uh, then I've got uh, the door panels here out of the 49 Merc. Uh, I'm going to take uh, and cut them down where they'll fit on the inside. And then the rest of it is just going to be bare bones. Um, the motor, I'm not going to put a big, big motor in it. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, get the uh, the inline six out of the 1950 um, Chevy kit. <clears throat> I'm going to get it. I've already got it fixed up right now on a piece of plastic where I can mold it. And uh, then 
uh, I'll mold me one to go in this. Uh, there's a few other things I'll probably end up molding for it, but uh, that's basically how my rat rod's going to look. And uh, the the paint job, I'm going. I'm not really decided. I'm leaning toward one design yet, and uh, if uh, if I do, um, it, it'll pay homage to a certain thing, but. It'll offend, it'll probably offend some people out there, but I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me uh, what anybody thinks. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, way it's going to do. So, um, I don't know if, uh, for sure, if we had to do a, uh, a video showing what we had to do for this build. Uh, but, uh, so this is mine. Um, and I just can't wait till Tuesday to get started on it. Um, like I said, I've got everything drawn out, <clears throat> ready to go. Uh, this is just going to be pieces, parts of everything. Um, and uh, I think it's going to look pretty good once I get it done. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what it's going to look. So guys, uh, I'm glad to be back building uh, after my sickness and everything that I had. Uh, my kidney trouble and then after I got started getting better on it my resistance was down and I ended up getting uh, flu and bronchitis on top of it so I'm feeling a whole lot better and uh, I'm gonna uh, later on this evening after I get some stuff done outside I'm gonna get down here and uh in the garage and uh, I'm gonna get started on uh, back on my Atlanta build uh, to get everything started on it and where I can get in and start sanding and painting but uh, I'll show you I won't show you everything that I've got marked out on it but right there I'm using the dirty Donny van for the uh, the Atlanta build uh, I've been doing some scribbling on it trying to figure out how to lay out the paint and stuff but uh, and I'll have to go buy me some candy paint for it. But, all right, guys, uh, this is going on long enough. Um, I'll have uh, my startup video when I get started on the rat rod. So, y'all take it easy and uh, keep building. And uh, thanks to all my subscribers and uh, uh, people that follow me. Um, and congratulations to everybody out there that uh, got into Dr. Cranky's book. Uh, I'm waiting on mine. Uh, can't wait to see it. So, all right, guys, y'all take it easy, and uh, we'll see you later.